Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to do a retell of one of our favorite stories. This story is called Shark in the Park. When you need to do a retell, you need to make sure you're giving the person listening to the retell enough details about the story so they know what the story is about. In this story, we need to remember who it's about, what's going on in the story, where it's happening, when is it happening, and then your teacher will ask you a why question, and then the last one, how, how do you feel about it? Do you like the story, do you not like the story, and to explain why. So hopefully you've read Shark in the Park more than once. Whenever you're going to do a retell, it's really important to read the story as best as you can and try to remember the who, what, where, when, why, and how. The who is usually the characters. The what would be the plot. Where and when are the setting. So those are the things that you might be asked to do with different words besides who, what, where, when. You might hear words like characters, setting, and plot. Okay, so let's get started. So I've already read Shark in the Park. I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna put my name on the paper because it's very important to always get your name on your paper so you get credit for your hard work. Then I'm going to write the title of the story. Remember, titles need to have capital letters for the important words. Definitely the first word, the last word, and any important word in the middle. In the are not important words to the title so they can be small. Okay. So, I'm going to do just basic answers to begin with, then I'll go back and add in details so I can get even higher score. The more details, the higher your score. So let's just do a basic first grade response. It would be good to write everything in complete sentences. So for who, who is the story about? The story is about a boy named Timothy Pope. So I've said a complete sentence. I have a capital letter and a period. And when I wrote his name, I put a capital for his first name and a capital for his last name. Now, what? What is this story about? Is it about that he just got a telescope? No. What keeps happening in the story? Timothy thinks he sees a shark in the park. That's the best part. There's a shark in the park. Okay, now where? Where? A where answer would be a place. So it's right in the title. It takes place in a park. The story takes place in a park. That answer is not always easy because it's not always in the title. If it, the story happens in more than one place, you might say if there's a word for um, all those places together, like if it takes place at a school, but it might be in a classroom and in the library, you might just say the story takes place in a school. Or if it takes place in um, maybe the library and then the post office and then the school, you might say the story takes place in a town. This story was pretty easy because it's right in the title. The story takes place in a park. When, this is another part that doesn't always say, but if I look at the pictures, I can tell it's not nighttime, it's daytime. So I'm going to say it takes place on a sunny day. The pictures can help you a lot. Okay. 
okay. Now I'm continuing to make sure all of my answers are written in complete sentences. I have capital letters and periods. I have good word spaces. I have an extra line that I can go back and write details in later if I wanted to get a higher grade. Now the why question is you're going to have to look at your teacher and say, well, what do you want me to answer? For this story, why does Timothy think there's a shark in the park? We want to know why does Timothy keep saying there's a shark in the park? Every time it's not a shark, but why does he keep thinking that there's a shark? Well, definitely Timothy keeps seeing a fin through his telescope. So every time he's looking at something through his telescope, it looks like the shape of a fin. So he thinks there's a shark in the park. Now finally, how? How do I feel about the story? Well, I can't just say I liked it or I didn't like it. You need to say why. So I'm going to say that I did like it because I think it's a funny story. I liked the story. Now I need to put an answer for why, because, and I just said it, I like the story because it was funny. Now to get an even better answer for this one, I need to say something in it that's funny. Now there are lots of funny parts to this story, I think, but my favorite part is when, uh, when Timothy sees his dad's hair, I think that's funny when the shark fin is really his dad, that made me laugh. His hair is so funny in this. Could you imagine if I had hair like that? Okay, if this is what you turned in, we would be very, very pleased. This is a very good first grade answer. Whenever you're given two lines to write, if you have time, it would be great to go back and add some details. So we can add some details about Timothy Pope. The story is about a boy named Timothy Pope. We can add a detail. What did he just get? He just got a new telescope. Okay. You could also say he took it to the park to try it out. Uh, something to that, um, to describe Timothy a little bit more. Now what? We said Timothy thinks he sees a shark in the park. Why does he keep thinking he sees a shark? I want some more details with that. So I'm going to say, but each time the shark turns out to be something else. Okay. Now, where? The story takes place in a park. I could say, give some more details about the park. The park is large. with trees, because I see it in the picture, grass, and a path. I can say all these things because I've seen them in a picture. I can't make up something that's not there. It also has a small pond. At the end, he thinks there's a shark in there too, or he doesn't see it but uh, we had to decide if we thought it was a shark or not. Now when, this is gonna be hard because this is, we, it didn't really ever tell us when. It didn't tell us it was a Tuesday. It didn't tell us in the morning. It didn't tell us it was his birthday. But we know it took place on a sunny day because there's a blue sky and the sun is out. It's also um, 
on this day, Timothy got a new telescope. We don't know what day it is, but we know it's the day that he got the telescope and he took it to the park to try it out. Okay, so I had to say, why does Timothy keep thinking there's a shark in the park? So I said, Timothy keeps seeing a fin through his telescope. Well, what's really going on there? He only sees a small part of the big picture through the telescope. Yeah, when you only get to see part of the picture, or you only read part of the story, are you gonna know the whole thing? No, you're not gonna know the whole thing. And this is what was happening to Timothy. Through the telescope, he was seeing just a small part of the whole picture very close up. And he needed to see the whole picture to be able to make a really good choice. So I think that goes along with making sure you read the entire story so you make a really good retell. Okay, so I've gone back and I've answered details about each part. So I think I've given a really good retell to the story, the shark in the